Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Hey everyone, we are a few days away from the official start of the newest century of DDR plays, Half-Life 2. Are you excited? Let me know down in the comments. To keep you guys up to speed on the plot of the Half-Life series up until the start of Half-Life 2, we think that it is appropriate to make this recap video as the events of the original game only cover only a part of the franchise's canon. So Before we get into the plot of the game itself, in this part, I will be focusing on how this game was developed. The story of the game's development started off during the very early days of Windows. Back in those days, Windows was running on top of DOS. There was two operating systems engineers currently working at the company at the time, Gabe Newell and Mike Harrington. During that time, the PC gaming industry was booming. Numerous game development houses were cashing in on the strand. Some of them were epic mega games, which was responsible for the development of classics such as Jack Rabbit, a fast paced side scrolling shitter, similar to Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, and One Must Fall 2097, a mixture of Killer Instinct and Robot Wars, to name a few. One of which was Apogee Entertainment. They were responsible for the development of the PC sensors to Nintendo's highly successful racing game Super Mario Kart Wacky Wheels. Apogee was also the publisher of the most famous influential revolutionary game of the first person shooter subgenre, Doom. Running on the heels of the success of Wolfenstein 3D, these two games put 3D maze based first person shooters to the masses. Later on, the game received numerous sequels and spin offs. In 1996, Ed Software released Quake, which introduced OpenGL technology. OpenGL is an application's programming interface or API. In the exact same year, Newell and Harrington left Microsoft to pursue their individual careers in game development. Valve Software was born. Even today, Valve is one of the largest, most recognizable companies in the PC gaming industry. The first game they developed, Half-Life. The game ran on Valve's in-house game engine, Gold Source. Gold Source is a heavily modified version of the Quake engine. In this engine, graphics were truly rendered in, in a 3D perspective, thanks to OpenGL. The game went on to receive Game of the Year awards from 50 publications. The story starts off with two competing science companies, Aperture Science founded by Cave Johnson in the 1940s. They provided various sanitary products to the US military and became one of the military's biggest producers. Competing with Aperture was Black Mesa Research Corporation, led by Dr. Wallace Green. Black Mesa's headquarters was an underground labyrinth of chest chambers and laboratories. All Black Mesa employees was required to live within the complex itself and the corporation was involved in almost all fields of science, including weapons technology, rocketry, robotics, you name it. Black Mesa was also involved in numerous touch secret state of the art high tech developments. The thread begins to unravel as Black Mesa makes a major breakthrough in interdimensional travel sometime in the 21st century. An alien border world which was used as a way station for travelling between dimension known as Zen was discovered by Black Mesa. When this happens, Black Mesa began sending survey teams into the world gathering native crystals and life forms for further studies back on Earth. During this time, Black Mesa pulled ahead of its nearest competitor, Aperture Science. The event started to unfold when the administrator of the facility, Wallace Breen, demanded an investigation using the purest crystal retrieved from Zen. 
MIT graduate Gordon Freeman was assigned to carry out the experiment. The experiment itself was extremely dangerous. The apparatus which was to be used in the testing chamber, for example, the anti-mass spectrometer, was to be used beyond their safety buffers and safety regulations. The experiment ended in a cataclysmic failure. Due to this, a resonance cascade informed inside Black Mesa Research Facility. This formed an unstable connection between Earth and Zen, as the research is flooded with hostile forces from Zen. The US government sent in a hazardous environment battalion into Black Mesa with one mission, to repel the invaders from Zen and eliminate all key surviving witnesses from the experiment. The operation to reclaim the facility ended in a failure as a nuclear device ensuring the facility and all its findings complete destruction. The motive behind it was cut off the connection between Earth and Zen. Also behind the scenes, Gordon was sent into Zen by destroying the entity which was keeping the connection open from the other side. The mission was successful and Gordon was put into stasis by the mysterious g -Man. The experiment inside Black Mesa led to numerous unforeseen consequences. In the preceding two decades following the Black Mesa incident, unpredictable portal storms occurred on Earth creating confusion within the Earth zone militaries of various nations. It later turned out that the leader of the forces of Zen of the Nihilanth did not begin their invasion of Earth out of conquest, but out of simple desperation. They simply wanted to escape from a massive hostile force, an interplanetary empire known as the Combine. The Combine then discovered Earth and used one of the unstable sporadic portal storms as a deploy zone for a massive invasion of Earth. Unfortunately, the United Military of Earth fell within seven hours. The conflict is known as the Seven Hour War. The former administrator of the Black Mesa Research Corporation, Wallace Breen, was elected as the Earth representative of the Combine. Humanity was then transformed into a slave race along with the various life forms already conquered by the Combine Empire. Water supplies became toxic due to the byproducts of Combine's weapons production and research. To make matters worse, a suppression field was established preventing humanity from reproducing to ensure there will be no more Earth generations of humanity. Black Mesa scientist Isaac Kleiner and Eli Vance, along with his daughter Alex, formed a resistance movement against Combine rule. What's left of humanity was concentrated in various urban centers known as cities. Each and every city has its own numerical designation. The head of government under combined control of Earth was established in City 17. Wallace Breen then took residence in the, the Citadel itself. So, this is where we get off. The stage is set for a protagonist, Gordon Freeman, to come out of stasis, join the human resistance, and start the fight back against the Combine. See you all on the 8th of May for the very first part of DGR Plays Half-Life 2. See you there!